Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to this video tutorial on how to create a photo gallery in ASP.NET Core 2.1. So the first thing that you want to do is fire up your Visual Studio, whether it's for Mac or for Windows. Just start Visual Studio and create a new project. I'm going to create an .NET Core app and I'm going to create a .NET Core web API. I'm going to click next. I like to choose web APIs because then I can use my APIs in different client side projects, whether I'm using Angular or whether I'm using any other framework or whether I'm using jQuery, I can use this API. So I'm not just using razor pages to build my application. I can use any kind of front end. So that's why I prefer creating controllers with web API and then use it, use them in different projects. So the project name would be image uploader or I could say image gallery and all I want to do is I've created a folder right on my desktop called as image gallery and I'm just going to add it there. I will add the project once it's completed to the git repository and I will have the link in the video description so you guys can download it. So for now I'll just leave it unchecked. And just create the project so I have my uh, ASP.NET Core 2.1 project created it's a blank project if I go ahead and run my project I should be able to see a welcome page so where is my okay so there it is so I have an API value controller that's the default controller that's created for us by ASP.NET Core so we can leave it as it is and um, now what we want to do is we want to create our own controllers for uploading single image or uploading multiple images to create a gallery but before we go ahead and create our controller you would want to have few things up and running the first thing is installing your SQL Server instance in Docker container because we would need a database to perform CRUD operations on our gallery. And to, uh, for doing that, we need to have an SQL Server instance up and running. And if you haven't installed SQL Server, then please go ahead and install SQL Server because we need it. I have installed SQL Server on Docker container and I'm using Kitematic to manage my instance of SQL Server in my containers. If you haven't had a SQL Server up and running on a Mac or on your Windows, go ahead and do it. For people using Mac, I have already created a video on how to install SQL Server on a Docker container. The link for that tutorial will be present in this video description. Please go ahead install SQL Server and then watch this video because we will be creating our data database using the code first method approach of Entity Framework. And also if you're using Mac, for Windows you have SSMS that is SQL Server Management Studio available to, that's a GUI interface to manage your SQL Server. But for Mac we have Azure Data Studio. So go ahead and install Azure Data Studio. I've also made a video on that as well. The video description contains the tutorial for that. So please go ahead and install it on your Mac and then watch these videos because it is necessary for you to have these applications installed up and running on your computer. And then start watching this tutorial. If you don't have a SQL Server instance, you cannot follow, you cannot go along with this tutorial. So now, once you have your SQL Server up and running on your Docker, on your Docker container, since I'm on a Mac, I will want to make sure that it is, my SQL Server instance is running first thing, second, and I am able to log into my uh, uh, local host, that's my local server. That's it. That's all I need. So the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and install a package manager for our client side libraries like jQuery and other libraries that we will use like Bootstrap. So for that, what we need to do is we need a package manager and Microsoft provides us with a package manager called as Libman. And to install Libman, what we are going to do is open our terminal and then CD into our project folder 
change directory to a project folder and that's let's open our project folder in finder call it reveal in finder and then all we are going to do is drag it onto our terminal now what we want to do is hit enter and type the following command dot net tool install globally microsoft dot web dot library manager dot c l i and after you have entered this command you just have to hit enter so now as you see that our lib library manager that's libman was successfully installed so let's go ahead and check if it was installed so and so to that we will check the version so yes uh, libman has been installed and we have a version 1.0.1.6.3 so now let's go ahead and install our first library that's uh, our jquery because we would need jquery and to install jquery all we are going to say is libman space install and the package name which is jquery and hit enter it will ask you for a default uh, provider the default is cd and js so i'm just going to leave it as that and and then where do you want this uh, package to be installed so i'm going to install it in www root folder and then it's, go it's going to create a folder called as lib that stands for library and then it's going to create a folder for jquery that's fine so i'm going to hit enter again and now if you notice my ww root folder has a folder called as lib and it has a package called a folder called as jquery which contains all my jquery files so now i also have a libman.json file that's created for me that's my package managing file and now if i open that file i have a package called as jquery in it so in this way we can add all our required packages using libman because there is no longer any support provided for bower in uh, asp.net in dotnet core or in asp.net mvc so please if you are installing uh, packages use libman because microsoft does provide support for it in visual studio 2017 so the next thing that we want to install is our bootstrap 4 package along with popper.js and as we will be using bootstrap 4 to create our front end that's the file uploaded to upload our images for the image gallery we need to install bootstrap 4 and the required files so let's go ahead and install our bootstrap 4 package to do that we can type the command libman install twitter dash bootstrap and hit enter and now it's going to ask you for the destination for our bootstrap so the destination for our bootstrap is going to be ww root forward slash library forward slash bootstrap forward slash dist and then hit enter and now we should have a bootstrap folder created for us with a dist folder and our required js and css files now what we want to do is we want to open back our terminal and install the popper.js file library And the destination once again would be ww rib forward slash popper dot js 
forward slash disk. So hitting enter is now going to create our popper.js folder with all the required files and packages. So that's it for all the required files and packages that we need to create our image gallery using, using ASP.NET Core 2.1. And now in the next video tutorial, we will create our model classes that we require in order to store our images and the information about our image and image galleries.